As the summer kicks into high gear, many people are taking to the water, but experts warn an increase in the number of new boaters out there could be a safety risk. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Great River. Boat sales skyrocketed during the pandemic. According to the National Marine Manufacturers Association, first time operators entering the market skyrocketed while the average age of these new boat operators dropped significantly. The issues on the water are really com compounded by the proliferation of boat sales last year. There's a lot of new boat operators on the water. Just because you can afford to buy a boat or rent a boat does not mean that you can safely operate a boat. Operation Dry Water, a national campaign to increase water awareness and the dangers of drunken boating, kicked off today on the Great South Bay, where advocate Gina Linek lost her 11-year-old daughter, Brianna. It was a simple day of going out with our family, to have a family fun day. My girls, they got to go water tubing. We went to my brother's house in Fire Island, and on our way home, tragedy struck and three men on a boat came over the top of our boat and it hit my daughter. Brianna died. Gina and her husband Frank were critically injured. Gina turned their family tragedy into good, spearheading the passage in Albany of Brianna's law, requiring all operators of motorized watercraft to complete a state-approved boating safety course by 2025. We're seeing an increased number of boaters and that, of course, brings along people who are less experienced. When you mix alcohol with that, it's even more dangerous. Alcohol was cited as the leading cause of fatal boating accidents last year during the pandemic, while the number of boating while intoxicated arrests climbed to nearly 200 across the state. Reporting from Suffolk's Marine Bureau in Great River, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.